for millions of Indians, this is the city of dreams. Mumbai is the heart of Bollywood, one of the biggest film industries in the world. I'm with one of its female superstars, Richa Chadha. In the last six months alone, she's been in three major movies. Today, Richa is in the studio of Munda Singh, one of Bollywood's top celebrity photographers. His past work is the Bollywood Wall of Fame. Richa is famous for playing assertive, independent women. After the photo shoot, I join her at home. Oh wow, it is your awards. All these are for acting. Mm -hmm. This is my first film. Uh, that's me. Oh. I'm playing like a really tarty character here. And this is also a film that's gone on to be like a cult film. Everything I have today is because of these films. And, and these films changed cinema in India. This year, she's made headlines as one of the first Bollywood A-listers to talk about sexual violence in India and in the film industry. Her next film will explore India's controversial rape laws. Most women I know have had unwelcome advances towards them. It's not just common in the industry, it's so common in Indian society. Yet even Richa won't name the guilty men. Why has nobody named names here? Fewer people would want to cast them. Definitely, definitely. Most definitely. Because they'll be blacklisted, they'll be called difficult, she's difficult to work with, she's hysterical, she makes an issue, she's a feminazi. When all these labels start coming up, it gets more and more difficult for women to operate. Risha says that sexual harassment and violence is the rite of passage for the average Indian girl and they have a lot of reasons not to speak out. In Bollywood, you could lose your career even for someone like Richa. But for the Me Too campaign to actually take ground, people do need to come out and to name names and identify the predators. But one actress has named names. She's complained to the police about a casting director she alleges sexually assaulted and then threatened her. Saha, will you have uh, coffee? Rina Saini lives in a bedsit with her boyfriend. She's a 26-year-old theatre actress now trying to break into movies. Before that incident, I was so bubbly, so childish, so, you know, uh, so alive, always smiling and always happy. But after that incident, I'm so defensive now. She tells me about five months ago, she met with a well-known casting director, Sohan Thakur, to discuss her role for a big movie. When he uh, tried to uh, touch my thigh, I cover my thigh with my hand. Mm. He removed my hand and he's like this, this. Now, then I realized that, no, th this is uh, by intention. After touching me, he was asking me, how do you like my touch? Maybe he was thinking that I will, I, I won't work, so I will do anything. She says later he called, warning her not to speak out. No, Rina, I didn't. If you will share this incident with anyone, it will be your loss. The police are still investigating the incident. The casting director denies all the allegations and told me he does not want to comment further. Today is Hindu New Year and the streets are filled with people celebrating. I'm on my way back to meet Rina. Since she made her complaint, some casting directors have stopped calling her, but not all of them. Hey. Hi. 
Hi, happy Hindi New Year. Happy Hindi New Year. How are you? I'm good. What about you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. It's so it's so colorful outside. Why aren't you out celebrating? But today I have a I have an audition, so I just have to quickly, you know. All right. Well, let's it will be Rina's third audition this week. How much makeup are you expected to wear to an audition? They don't entertain us if we don't do makeup. Really? Yes. Even if your acting is great. Doesn't matter. Looks first after acting. Really? Yes. Do you ever feel like you should change your looks in general so you have a better chance to get into films? I'm an actress. I can give my best. I can give to the director what he wants. Sit. Hi. This year, the Indian film industry will make around 2,000 films. But competition to get a part is fierce, especially if you're seen as difficult. How do you feel every time you go to an audition? I'm not feeling anything right now, but uh, when I will face them, the casting director and the audition, maybe then that time I got nervous. At the casting, scores of actors, mostly men, are already waiting to audition for different parts. The casting director, Sunny Dagar, knows about Rina's complaint to the police, but he's still considering her for a role. Hi, Saha, nice to meet you. I'm here for emotional support. <laughs> the lines she's memorizing aren't from the movie itself. The plot is being kept secret. She'll get five minutes to impress Sonny and his colleagues, playing a young actress waiting for her big break. How do you feel? Uh, I'm feeling good. Because yeah. I did my best. Mm. Mm. You were, you look good. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you really got into character. Rina now faces a nervous wait to find out if she got the role, despite the controversy. Actresses say that they don't just face sexual harassment from powerful men within the film industry. They're constantly trolled on social media, often by men who disapprove of their image and expect women to stay subservient. But in Mumbai, a television channel is taking on the trolls and exposing them. This is where someone's nightmare is going to come true today, and they're setting up for it. This is the set of a new MTV show called Troll Police. It tracks down the trolls harassing celebrities online and brings them face to face with their victims. The program is presented by Zareen Khan, a huge Bollywood star. We need to show them that yes, uh, we are women and we are not any lesser and do not consider us inferior because we are equally as human as you guys are and we do not need all these bullshit. Cyber investigators have tracked down the man behind some vicious trolling. This is Sahil Malik. Online, he hides behind the name Batamese Pasta. And now, he's about to be confronted by his celebrity victim. Welcome to MTV Ladies Night! The troll thinks he's going to be in the audience for an MTV comedy night featuring female comedians. Bollywood actress Mandira Beidi is the celebrity this man has been trolling. Now he's face to face with her, but still doesn't realize she knows who he is. I have absolutely no idea. At first, she gets him to read out comments from other trolls. No, you are rude. Why would a man write something like this? I don't know. Then she asks him to read comments she knows he posted. Tere jaisi milf mil jaye to main bas tere pe atak jaun sirf mera naam chillaye to. 
ये जो नाम है बदतमीज पास्ता yes. She asks him to explain himself. So, the butter is pasta. What is milk? वो शादीशुदा और prostitution करती है. Say them to me. Say married woman is a prostitute. Say, चलो. I can't say. Why can't you say? You can write it because you are behind a fake profile. Say it to me. Say any of these things to me. चलो. बोलो. आमने सामने होकर मर्द होके बोलो. No, I can't. You can't. It made me feel so angry. What gives him the right to tell me how to run my life or tell me what to wear? Who are you? If you don't like what I wear, don't bloody follow me, right? Keep your opinions to yourself. Tolerating in silence seems to have been the default way for women here to deal with harassment and abuse. But what they're doing is exactly the opposite, and that's a huge step. There seems to be an appetite for change, and it's encouraging more women to speak out. Almost every day, there has been some kind of a news headline about an actress or a female celebrity who's been sexually harassed or abused or experienced some kind of a sexual violence within the industry. In today's Mumbai Mirror, the story on the front page is about Daisy Irani, a child actress, who 60 years later has come out and said, "I was." raped at the, at the age of six. I was harassed throughout my career. Or um, here, there is another big Bollywood star, Elena de Cruz, who says that she has experienced these kind of things. If anybody speaks out, it's the end of their career. Every day, there is something. But although nobody's really naming names, or in this instance, in the child actress's um, case, when they do, the predator is long gone. This is still a huge change to only a few months ago when no one was even, you know, coming out and admitting to this. And maybe this is creating a momentum for sexual violence and harassment to stop being so accepted and normalized in the industry and later in the society. Rina is still waiting to find out if she's got the part she auditioned for. She's desperate to know why she's struggling to break through from stage to movies. Is it because she lacks star quality or because of her sexual harassment case? Two top casting agents, Sangeeta and Tony Bhatia, have agreed to meet her. Wow, oh, look at that. Oh, I like her. You know her? I, I don't know her. She's a very good actress. Right. But I want to be an actress. I, I want a good acting job in films. Yeah, that's possible. It's very much possible. Uh, I can show you my picture so that you can advise me. These are the pictures. So you want my honest feedback? Yes. You definitely need better pictures than this. They are. Okay. The styling is horrendous. This is something which looks like pictures, like selfies. It's not professionally done. Not good enough. If you, if you like, like if possible. I would have got this in my inbox, I would have deleted it. So, can you give me any advice? You have to believe in yourself. You have to perform. They tell her she needs to network more. I tried to make connection with the casting director, and what he did, he he uh, he did something wrong with me. You in which field it doesn't happen? Out of the whole industry, if you've had one bad experience, that doesn't mean the industry is bad. You should know, as a girl, when you are going anywhere, even you are doing an office, office job, there also something can happen to you. Rina is realizing that if she wants to be a Bollywood star, she'll have to fit in with what the industry expects. There is more to India's film industry than Bollywood. 800 miles south is Cochin, capital of the state of Kerala. It's home to Mollywood, where films are made in the Malayalam language. One of the hottest Mollywood movie stars is Parvati. She's also just starred in a massive Bollywood hit. In a celebrity-obsessed India, she's one of the biggest. It's difficult to even walk a few meters without people, you know, <laughs> running towards us and asking for pictures. She's obviously very popular. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Good day. 
but recently she criticized a hit movie for its portrayal of women. Now on social media, fans of the male superstar in the movie are sending her vicious and brutal threats. In a country where a woman is raped every 15 minutes, it's terrifying. So, my first rape threat. Three to four people are gonna come, what's your bra size? And we are planning to rape you. And just you wait till we teach you a lesson. How did it make you feel? It was utter shock. Four days later, I was getting death threats saying that we want your dead body. We don't want your films or you, we want your dead body. It must be really difficult to wake up every morning and really actively read these horrible comments. You cannot come to my house and say I'm, I'm going to be killed or that I'm going to be raped because I opened my mouth. This is my country, this is my world, I'm an active participant, I'm a, I'm a lawful citizen. I have not done anything wrong. Recently, one of Parvati's friends, also a leading actress, was gang raped. When she went to the police, some newspapers published her name, despite Indian law giving rape victims their right to anonymity. Now, one of Mollywood's biggest actors, Dilip, is on trial, accused of organizing the rape. Today, I'm heading to a pre-trial hearing at the courthouse. Despite the charges, there are posters of Dilip's latest film all over the city. It's one of Mollywood's highest grossing movies. What's happening today here is very unique. It's very important because both the victim and the accused are from the film industry. They're from the media and a lot of people care and want to find out what happens. Okay, something is happening. The leader of the group, accused of the gang rape, is brought to court under police guard. Whoa, this is the main accused who's being brought here. The prosecution said Dilip hired the gang to rape the actress as punishment because she told his then wife he was having an affair. Then Dilip arrives. He's been living at home, out on bail. I think he's the one at the back. The prosecution alleged he ordered the rapist to video their assault so he could blackmail the actress into silence. He denies all charges. The mixture of journalists, fans, and just everybody trying to get a glimpse. I mean, a lot of people are excited. A lot of fans were actually trying to take selfies with him. Um, it's obviously a huge deal. Um, the trial is about to begin, so. But within an hour, the trial is adjourned for a month. Okay, um, so the trial is over for now. It was absolutely packed, so many people. There was the judge and all the seats were taken. Even, there wasn't even a seat for Dilip himself. He had to stand and the victim wasn't present in there herself. Hi guys, I'm so happy nice to meet you. Journalist Mega Varia has been covering the case since it started. She takes me to the spot where the actress was abducted. So this is Atani. This is, as you can see, it's a pretty, you know, busy junction. Okay. This is where a fake accident is created by the driver and the other accused in the case. Right. So that, you know, they basically get a chance to get into our car. The prosecution alleged she was raped for over an hour and dumped here, outside the friend's house. From that moment, and particularly since Dilip's arrest, the Indian public has followed every twist and turn of the case. When he came out of the jail, he was welcomed. You know, he was welcomed with applauses, cheers. There were hundreds of people from his fans association just waiting to actually welcome him back. How about the victim? Nobody actually uh, imagined that she would actually come out and reveal that such a thing has happened to her. Mm. Because you basically, normally, you associate a sexual crime with shame. 
by reporting the crime, the female star has taken an important step. She's broken the unwritten code that has kept women silent in the face of sexual violence. In Mumbai, Rina hasn't got the role she auditioned for. She's considering dropping her complaint against the casting director she alleges sexually assaulted her. Where is your case at right now? I don't know, that's why I'm here. Mm. I don't know how to handle the case, so... You know, hopefully we'll get some answers today. Yeah. She's come to Majlis, an organization giving free advice to victims of sexual abuse. Hi, 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 Rina. Hi, come. Hi. Hi. Flavia Agnes, one of India's top women's rights lawyers, says what Rina's done is very brave. Most girls do not file cases like this. How much of a chance do you think she has? What do you think will happen? She has a chance if she persists the case. But it'll take time. How, how long? I cannot tell you exactly. Or maybe two to three years. Would you advise her to continue with this case yes. and follow up? Absolutely. No, she has already done the worst. In the sense, she's there in public. She has already filed. She's given this one case. We need to show to the industry. Flavia and her team say they'll help Rina if she wants to fight her case. I was hopeless, but after this meeting, I'm so much, you know, I have now, I'm confident that I can, I should fight. Rina never wanted to be a flag bearer for the Me Too movement. But until more actors break the silence surrounding sexual violence in India's film industry, it's a role she's prepared to play. Thanks for watching this Unreported World episode. Click the logo to subscribe for more award-winning documentaries from the Unreported World team. We upload videos every Wednesday and Sunday, keeping you up to date with content from all over the world.